Jaime Hawkins is making big headlines in the league, and rightfully so. His production in Wade County is among the best of his rookie class. He's currently third in the Rookie of the Year voting, only behind Victor Wembanyama and Chet Holmgren. Who did he surpass? Well, he ousted Detroit Pistons young star defender Asar Thompson, second overall draft pick Brandon Miller and Scoot Henderson. This is the story of the biggest steal of the 2023 draft. Jaime Hawkes was born on February 18, 2001 in Irvine, California, joining a family that cherished sports, especially basketball. His family's love for the game started with his parents, Jaime Hawkes Sr. and Angela Hawkes. They both played basketball in college at Concordia. Angela shone brightly in the women's basketball program, while Jaime Sr. left his mark as a dominant force on the men's team. Their passion for this sport planted the seeds of love for basketball in their children. A key part of this athletic story is Jaime Sr.'s dad, Ezekiel, who moved from Mexico to the U.S. and rocked it in sports. Back in his Santa Clara High School days, he was a star in both basketball and baseball, which became the route for the athletic journey that followed. For Jaime Jr., basketball wasn't just a hobby. It seemed to show him it was like breathing in their household. His youngest sister, Gabriela Jaquez, also showed serious talent as she stood out as another bright star in the making. Both siblings took up basketball to follow their parents' love for sports and make it their passion too. Yeah, both my parents play basketball at Concordia University, and that's where they met. My dad has been extremely hands-on. He was my coach till high school, even though he wasn't my coach during high school. We'd wake up in the mornings to go to 24-hour fitness to train. I still work out with him when I go home, and we sometimes talk after games about what I can do better. He was a point guard when he played, so he's very smart when it comes to understanding basketball. Gabriella, a solid six-foot forward, showed real potential on the court right from the start. Their basketball journey hit a great peak when both siblings snagged spots at UCLA. They made history as the first-ever brother-sister duo in basketball to hit the Sweet 16 together at the same college in a super exciting season. In Jaime Jr.'s basketball story within his family, he found inspiration with big names who made a huge impact on the game. Kobe Bryant was widely known for his hard work and never giving up mentality. He became a major role for Jaime Jr. Kobe's dedication hit home for Jaime Jr., being a diehard Lakers fan, which pushed him to commit hard, hit the gym early, and aim to outdo his opponents with an intense drive. Jimmy Butler's competitiveness and Dwayne Wade's shooting style influenced how he played too. Jaime Jaquez Jr.'s time at Camarillo High School was more than just a start. It was a display of talent and dedication. Playing under coach Michael Torrey Smith, he became a key player in basketball and also showed skill in baseball, getting varsity letters in both sports under coach John Gonzalez. Jaquez Jr. was recognized for his hard work and became a crucial part of the team both on and off the court. During his time at Camarillo High, Jaquez Jr. was a standout on the basketball court. He consistently earned first-team All-CIF Southern Section honors, showing his skills game after game. His talent extended beyond the local level, with his ranking as the number 81 player in his high school class showcasing his overall abilities. In his final year, Jaquez really stood out. He averaged an impressive 31.7 points, 12.7 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 2.1 steals per game, displaying his dominance and understanding the game. A memorable highlight was when he scored an incredible 54 points against Royal High School, leading his team to a big 84-52 win that'll be remembered in the Coastal Canyon League's history. Throughout his time in high school, the high point was when he scored a remarkable 2,653 points during his four years. This put him among the top 25 on the all-time state list, showing how consistent and brilliant he was. His journey from Camarillo High wasn't just about his skills, it also showcased his commitment, determination, and bright future in basketball. Jaime Jaquez made a big decision to join UCLA, which started another turning point in his basketball journey. He decided to play for UCLA after being recruited by Steve Alford and getting a scholarship offer in his junior year. But things changed when Alford left in 2018. Mick Cronin, who knew Jaquez from recruiting him in Cincinnati, took over. Even with this change, Jaquez stayed true to UCLA, showing his commitment and loyalty to the team. During his early days at UCLA, Jaquez showed signs of potential. His freshman year was a glimpse into what he could achieve. He managed to average 8.9 points and 4.8 rebounds a game, and he got honorable mention on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. But it was his next season where things really took off. Jaquez became a crucial player, contributing both offensively and defensively. 
he earned recognition as a second-team All-Pac-12 selection and made it onto the Pac-12 All-Defense team. One of the standout moments for Hawkins came during the 2021 NCAA tournament. In UCLA's critical game against Michigan State in the first four play-in, he showcased his scoring abilities, scoring an impressive 27 points. This amazing performance helped the Bruins secure an overtime victory, setting the tone for UCLA's journey throughout the tournament. They made it to the Final Four, although they didn't win against Gonzaga. Nonetheless, Jaquez's impact on UCLA's success during this big stage highlighted his importance to the team and earned him recognition in college basketball. By his third year at UCLA, Jaquez had progressed significantly, not just in skills, but also in becoming a key player in the Bruins lineup. He became more than just a player as he showed that he can lead the team throughout consistent performances, averaging a solid 13.9 points and grabbing the most rebounds at 5.7 a game. Jaquez Jr. became a pivotal part of the Bruins strategy. His efforts earned him a place as a first-team All-Pac-12 Conference honoree alongside teammates Tiger Campbell and Johnny Uzang. His defensive skills were also acknowledged, earning him a spot on the Pac-12 All-Defensive team for the second year and being named a second-team NABC All-District 19 honoree. Additionally, being shortlisted as a finalist for the prestigious Julius Irving Small Forward of the Year Award highlighted his outstanding skills and role within the team. In the midst of his accomplishments, a big moment happened in a game against Washington. Jaquez scored his 1,000th career point, joining the elite list of Bruins basketball greats as the 59th player in UCLA history to hit the mark. His rankings in the Pac-12 also showed his importance to the team, ranking 9th in scoring, 11th in steals, and 15th in rebounds, highlighting his many ways of helping the team succeed. However, even with personal achievements, UCLA's March Madness journey ended in sadness. The Bruins' dreams were dashed with a tough Sweet 16 loss to North Carolina, ending the season with a disappointing 73-66 defeat. Throughout his senior year, Jaime Jaquez soared to incredible heights. He emerged as the driving force for UCLA across 37 games as he led the team in both scoring and rebounding with a great 17.8 points and 8.2 rebounds per game, respectively. His stellar performance throughout the season earned him a series of prestigious accolades, including the Lute Olsen National Player of the Year Award, a second-team All-American selection, and the honor of being named the 2023 Pac-12 Player of the Year. Notably, his recognition as the Pac-12 Player of the Year marked a historic moment for UCLA. It was the team's first since Kevin Love back in 2008. When asked about the recognition, he said, It feels good. A lot of hard work. It was a very competitive race this year. I give a lot of credit to DeBella. He played an amazing season. I have to credit my teammates for helping me win this. Thank you to the coaches and staff. Thank you to everybody. Jaquez Jr.'s impact on UCLA stretched far beyond individual honors. He significantly affected the team's performance, which was evident in his shooting record. He was scoring 261 goals out of 543 attempts with a stellar shooting percentage of 48.1%. His honor of securing the eighth spot on UCLA's list of single-season field goals made demonstrated his offensive abilities while claiming the second position on the field goal attempts list underscored his efficiency and crucial role in bolstering the team's offensive capability. During the 2023 NCAA tournament ride, Jaquez Jr.'s senior year soared to its peak. In the first game against UNC Asheville, he shone bright with 17 points, 8 rebounds, and an all-time bust of 5 steals, all while leading UCLA to a huge 86-53 win. But when facing tough times with Adam Bona and Jalen Clark injured, the Bruins fought hard. Despite their efforts, they fell short in a tough 79-76 loss to Gonzaga in the Sweet 16. The 2023 NBA draft wasn't just another day for a Miami Heat. It became a big moment that changed Jaime Hawkins Jr.'s path in basketball. In the team's history of picking young talent full of potential, Hawkins Jr.'s arrival stood out. The Heat saw something special in him that others might have missed. He wasn't the main focus before the draft, but Miami liked his strong commitment to basketball. They saw his love for the game and how often he'd be in the gym, always working hard to get better at basketball, and showed a real passion that made him different from many others. Jaquez Jr.'s time at UCLA displayed how good he was on the court and how he could adjust his game. He knew how to take advantage when playing against smaller defenders, making him really good at scoring. But what made him special was how he could score even when facing big 7-foot NBA defenders, surprising everyone with his ability to get points despite being shorter than them. 
His big game against the Indiana Pacers was a great example of what he could do. In just 33 minutes, he scored 24 points and added five rebounds, an assist, and a steal, proving he could shine in the NBA right from the start. In his first year of playing, Hawkes Jr. getting considered for sixth man of the year was a big deal, which is something that usually doesn't happen to a rookie. He got better, especially in shooting three-pointers, which made his stats even stronger. But more than just numbers, his ability to fit into the NBA and understand the game showed he had a really good basketball IQ. He could change how he played to match what the team needed and the challenges of the NBA. Jaime Jaquez Jr. is solidly holding the third spot in the Rookie of the Year race. Jaime Jaquez Jr. is making waves among NBA rookies, fitting right in within the Heat culture and putting up impressive numbers despite getting limited playing time as a rookie. He's hailed as the steal of the 2023 draft, a true hidden gem in his class. His journey reflects hard work, determination, and an intense love for the game, going beyond just the numbers. His story is a reminder that success isn't just about where you're picked, but about surpassing expectations and making a lasting impact on the game. Jaquez embodies the value of grit, resilience, and chasing your dreams relentlessly.